Hello friends, I am sharing with you my winter capsule style wardrobe for 2022-2023 season. This is going to include some non-maternity clothes and some maternity clothes and then a few larger pieces that work if you are going to be growing a baby. So I am about 17 weeks along when I am filming this video. So right now my baby bump is kind of more of like I have a little bloating. I have a little bit of a baby bump and I carry higher so everything looks all kind of flowy into one. So I have several sweaters, a few staple pair of jeans, some dresses, and some shoes and a few accessories that I want to share with you for my winter capsule style wardrobe. Multiple of these items are second hand. Actually, the majority of them are, except for a few of the jeans. I do have a few hand-me-down maternity clothes that I've gotten from siblings and friends as well that are going to be added into this video for you today. So let's start off with the sweaters. You'll kind of see a trend here that I like black and gray, some neutral colors here going on. And I think that I tend to lean towards that because they are so versatile. You can dress it up with some jewelry. They seem to um, transition well with jeans, with a dress, um, wearing them casually around the house, going out. And so I just kind of fall into that category of the neutrals. The first sweater is a garage sale find for $1.50. It is a cashmere sweater that I really enjoy wearing. It is very warm, cozy, a tad scratchy. So I always wear a tank top underneath my sweaters anyways, especially maternity. I wear tank tops more often under my sweaters and other shirts. However, I just really like the look of this sweater. It's got long lines in it. It has some beautiful texture, so soft, like I said. You can wear it zipped at the neck, up like I like doing, or unzipped, which is like a little more casual look, I think. It would look great with a chunky necklace around it, um, look good with a different colored vest other than black, and so it just works well with my maternity skinny jeans I have. The next sweater I found at another thrift store and this is one I've been kind of looking for, like crew neck or a, what do you call it, cable neck um, sweater that can be dressy or casual. This one just happened to be $5.50 and I can't honestly remember the brand. So if I don't mention the brand, I'll try to link it in the description box. It's hard to know if you'll be able to purchase them in the future or now because they were often thrifted. Um, however, this one, I like the tighter sleeve here and then the puffier sleeve. It's tighter at the waist as well and it goes past my rear just a little ways, but as my belly grows, I'm sure it'll slowly raise up, but it's very flowy and that's what I've been looking for. I can't wear any of the crop top sweaters with maternity pants as you know, you can't really tuck those in because you have that belly band going over. And so for this season of my life, I am not able to wear those high-waisted mom jeans and tucked in shirts, which is what it is when you're in different stages, different seasons of life, you kind of transition to what works for you. So that sweater is just a gray, and I really, like I said, another statement necklace, same earrings, a pop of lipstick, and you're good for a date night. Put on some wedges with some jeans and or put on a skirt with the sweater and you're good to go. Third sweater is the brand American Rig, 50 cents at a thrift store. And this one will be on the way out in probably a month as it is a little bit shorter. It's the gray, white, black um, knit looking sweater. And I've worn this in a few videos. I've worn it over a dress that you'll see later in the video, but I really liked finding this for only 50 cents. and. Um, when when you're pregnant, as multiple of you have been in Nome, you don't want to spend a lot of money on these clothes as you're only going to be wearing maternity type clothes or clothes that fit while you're pregnant for a short amount of time. But I still wanted things that look nice that I enjoy wearing around the house or out. And so finding thrifted pieces that are comfortable, that will grow with me as I grow a baby are important. So that is the American Rig sweater. Again, fits great with some of my maternity jeans that I have. 
All right. So those are the three main sweaters that I tend to gravitate towards in my closet and are going to be in my capsule wardrobe. I did get handed down some maternity dressier sweaters from my sister, but this is like the sixth, seventh pregnancy that they have been worn. So they get a little wear and tear looking. Um, as like I said, she had children. I am on my third pregnancy. And so they start to just look a little worn, but I will be wearing some of those as well as my belly grows more. But for now, I can still fit in just a little bit larger sweaters and that's kind of trendy anyways to have the oversized sweaters for the winter. I also have this green maternity, it's a Isabel maternity sweatshirt that was a hand-me-down and I really like the cowl neck with the strings. Um, it's just more casual, that'd probably be more of just hanging around the house going to visit a really close friend type of sweatshirt. If you're the legging type, it works well with leggings because it is a little bit longer in the um, on the waist and so it cover your bum a little bit. But I really like this sweatshirt and I've worn it for all of my pregnancies so far. So that one was a maternity sweatshirt that is just yet yeah, kind of dressy yet casual and I think works well for um, being a stay at home mom. Okay, and then I found just this gray Eddie Bauer t-shirt that fits currently. It'll probably have to be transitioned to a maternity t-shirt. And then this universal thread plaid shirt. And now I found that at our local bin store, but I think you can still get it at Target um, possibly. But I wear that around the house outing. You can wear more jewelry with it. You can leave it plain. Um, but I really like this plaid sh over shirt. Um, because it just, if it's a little chilly in the house, I can throw it over something if I am cold. I can roll up the sleeves, you know, to cook in the kitchen or if I get warm. So that was a nice find for a dollar at our bin store along with a t-shirt. And I always have tank tops, like I said, in my wardrobe when I am um, pregnant as well. So there is another look for the tops. Now then I also just recently found this Gap Maternity Green Long Sleeve and oh my goodness it is the softest maternity shirt I have ever found and so I wasn't sure about getting it but it was 50% off so I paid $2.25 for it and it is just so soft on the skin and I think that green is just kind of a wintry color. A vest would be great over it. Um, it could go under one of my short sleeve dresses if I wanted it to. I could just wear it around the house as is. I could wear underneath of another sweater if I wanted to go outside on a warmer day when it's a little bit warmer and have just two long sleeves like that. So I was really excited to have found this green Gap Maternity really soft long sleeve t-shirt style shirt. Okay, and then I'm gonna show you my jeans here. So one pair was thrifted and it was half off as well. It just has like a quarter belly band and so um, I'm not sure if I actually even got the footage of this or not for you but it has like a few just little rips on the knees and I did go with the skinny style jeans. You know right now like the mom jean wider leg is in right now or straight leg but this is what I'm doing for my season of life right now. So that was a fun find for $2.25 or $2.50 to find. And that should work at least for the first, well, up to like my six, seven month mark pregnancy until I possibly might need the overbelly band, which then here is the other brand of jean. I found a blue indigo. I had a pair of these from my sister that just got really worn. They got like the stretch mark on the thighs. And so they're gonna go out the door and I invested in these from Amazon. So if I did find anything on Amazon, I will put that in the description box for you as well, or you can shop my Amazon store now as well. So I really like these jeans, the dark wash. I just kind of tend to lean towards the dark wash. I think they hide like little fingerprints or if you spill something on your jeans and I think they just look a little bit more dressy. And then um, for those are my two stable jeans, I guess. So along with bottoms, I do have a maternity fleece legging and that is great to go under some of my, like one of my shorter dresses or um, this other dress that I have here that I'm gonna talk about. So just some fleece lined leggings are a great staple for the winter months. Even just to wear in under jeans if you're going outside without snow pants on or something to play in the snow with your kids. And I just really like these. I think they might be a motherhood maternity 
legging as well. So to my dresses. So I have this Bobby and Brooks dress. Um, you've seen me wear it in multiple videos. It's shorter, so I won't be able to wear it much longer either, but I really like, it's kind of a Christmassy festive color because it's that red and black and white checkered look. And so I wear that around the house with my leggings and sometimes I'll throw a sweater over it. Um, but that would be, sweaters would be my extras in my wardrobe. So this is just a fun little dress to have with a v-neck and I like wearing that around the house. And my other dress is a universal thread dress. Now this one is short sleeve and I wear sweaters over this dress. It has like a little ruffle as you can see on the sleeves. So that is hard to wear um, tight fitting sweaters over. So I have to wear a little bit looser. So now I also have two more dresses that are more for church or more formal. This red and white maternity Isabel maternity dress was from the bins on dollar day and I was really excited to find that um, it's just so beautiful and flowy it might be my Christmas day dress I direct our church kids Christmas program so maybe I'll wear it then but I just really like how flowy it is it'll grow with my belly so I'll be able to wear it multiple times throughout the winter season and it's got like a little ruffle in the front um, and it's just very dressy and can be worn with heels or flats and I just like the versatility of it. My second dress here is this blue one and it's kind of an Inca length dress again from the bins so I really like having that store locally here. It's just more of a casual actually but I think I could end up wearing it to church or an outing, a Christmas party, something like that. And then it looks good with some flats. I'm sure I could wear it with Heel the booties or with heels, dress it up with some jewelry as well and call that an outfit. So to my shoes, I have these Steve Madden wedge shoes that I thrifted, debated on keeping them and I did and I've had multiple compliments on them. They look so great with skinny jeans and they're relatively comfortable, like walking in them for hours and hours a day, not so great, but they look good for a church or for a date night. And then um, just flats like when I want to be a little more casual and not have heels on. And then I always just wear snow boots often when I'm um, walking with the girls or out because we've had snow lately. And so that's kind of nice to throw that on. And then just a few pieces of jewelry. I like to have hoops, some of these simple necklaces that you can have or find. Um, sometimes just a few little studs like a pearl earring stud a diamond stud and then a couple statement necklace pieces are nice and a few of my ribbon hair scrunchies I will often wear as well. So that is my capsule style wardrobe for this season. It's different as it is maternity but hopefully you can find a few things that fit your style right now and the season of life you're in and this is what I have for the season of life I am in. Hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day.